Whether it's summer, winter, fall, or spring, I love one pan recipes. And this mushroom and asparagus oven risotto definitely falls into that category. It is full of flavor, so easy to make, and you're gonna love it, it's so good. I just pulled the asparagus out of the pan and I sauteed it in a little olive oil and butter. So I will set that to the side. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter and olive oil to the pan. And now it's time to start cooking the mushrooms. These are just sliced cremini mushrooms. If you wanted to have fun, you could do a mushroom variety, just get different kinds that you like. As long as they're kind of sliced thin, that's the whole key. And I wanna cook the mushrooms until they're nice and brown. It's gonna take about five minutes. These got nice and brown, so I can start adding the other ingredients to the pan. Lots of garlic. And I have some fresh thyme leaves, absolutely delicious. Lots of sliced green onions. I've got both light green and dark green parts. And for extra, extra flavor, chives, which to me is such a springy, springy thing. Now I'll stir all of the herbs in with the mushrooms and get everything mixed together. This is a good time to add just a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, so now it's time for the risotto side of things. I have some arborio rice, which is the standard risotto rice, and I'm pouring it in over the mushrooms. And I wanna stir and just get the rice coated in all of this flavor. And so when you're making traditional risotto, it's a process where you pour broth in a little bit at a time, stir, let it absorb into the rice, add more broth, stir and cook. And it can take quite a while to achieve that perfect risotto texture, but Cooking the risotto in the oven without all the stirring is really a great alternative when you don't want to spend all that time babysitting at the stove. So that's where the broth comes in. I've got it heated in a saucepan and I'm gonna pour the whole darn thing in. <laughs> now risotto purists will probably bristle at this because Truly, it is delicious to make risotto the traditional way, but this is really good. So that is all stirred. And I'm gonna turn the heat off, put the lid on, and I'm gonna put this in a 400 degree oven. It's gonna take about 40 minutes for the risotto to be perfect, and then I'll finish things up. Instead of standing at the stove stirring risotto, I have been living my life for the past 40 minutes. So it's time to get it out of the oven. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Okay, this is always the moment. Ready? Here we go. It is so worth it not to stir while it's in the oven, even though I always wanna peek and see how things are coming along. You wanna keep it just as it is. And then you get this moment where you can go in with a spoon and look at that texture. It is perfect. The arborio rice has totally absorbed the liquid and it's just tender and fluffy. So I'm gonna dress up the risotto even more. Got goat cheese, that's gonna make it extra creamy. And we can't forget this beautiful asparagus. I'm gonna leave some back to garnish it with, but I'm gonna stir most of it into the risotto. That way, every single bite you take of the risotto has a little bit of that kind of slightly crispy asparagus. So now I'm gonna decorate the top because I can't stop. <laughs> I've got arugula and I don't wanna to totally cover the risotto, but I love having that because it kind of starts to wilt by the time you get it onto the plate. And some thinly sliced red onion, just for fun. You could do 
even more green onions if you like, and more goat cheese, please, and the rest of the asparagus. And I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it onto the top of this. All right, and I zested a lemon, and I always think it's nice during the spring to just kind of top everything with lemon zest, I say. <laughs> and finally, just a couple of basil leaves. You could tear it if you want. I think I will. But the idea is just to kind of have this beautiful spring celebration on top of the flavorful, beautiful risotto underneath. All right, with that, the risotto mission is complete. I love how easy this is and all the flavors and textures of spring. You know, my life's motto, why stand and stir if you don't have to? I might need that on a t-shirt.